Okay, this is a quick little intro. Summer has hit, so uh, I am going to be sitting at my desk. Multiple sclerosis is uh, decreasing my mobility while the temperature is high. It's a problem I can't deal with. So, I'm going to recut some old videos, and this is one of them. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you uh, when the weather cools off, and I'll do some more new content. Well, we have the making of another video, thanks to uh, my YouTube uh, my channel member, Fat Ninja. He's um, donated a whole bunch of computer stuff to me. Uh, in amongst things was a little HB slimline machine, which is basically a laptop board. We have managed to whack 30 to, or 16 gig of RAM into this, and um, we've replaced the NVMe SSD with an NVMe SATA adapter. We've removed the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card for the time being, we'll put that back in later. But, this could be a new, a new file server board. It's not fast, but neither is the Raspberry Pi 4 that's in there. We're going to try and boot it off a USB stick, and we should be able to get 8 SATA ports off this eventually. This only has 6 PCI lanes on it, so it's not the fastest thing. It doesn't have USB 3, but uh, we probably won't need it. Anyway, we're going to set this all up. We're installing Linux on it at the moment, and we'll go from there. Well, welcome to another video. We're looking at a pile of junk. And this pile of junk is a Raspberry Pi 4 that used to be my file server. I did try and upgrade it to a Raspberry Pi 5 and put an NVMe hat on and put a, a 6 port NVMe SATA adapter. It didn't work. And I was stuck using all these um, external drives that I'd converted um, to use, or uh, well, these have got the USB adapters and uh, plug them all into the drive through a series of USB hubs. Not the most efficient way of doing things, and it was very, very jank. I've upgraded my file server now. It's still jank, but slightly better. So, thanks to a YouTube channel member, Fat Ninja, um, he donated, uh, well, he's donated quite a few different bits and pieces over the years, um, but he gave me this little HP Slimline machine, um, which I robbed the motherboard out. And it takes, it takes 19 volts in, but it had a whole bunch of interesting little things, like it's basically a laptop board. It took laptop RAM, had an NVMe slot, a whole bunch of other things going for it. But crucially, it would understand that 6-port SATA adapter, and it was small enough to fit in my NAS box. So, I did an upgrade. Bit of a janky one, but I did an upgrade. Let's go check that out. So, say hello to my shiny TV here. This is my file server, which is an old uh, DVR rack. Now, there's a few things I need to do with this to finish the upgrade, but we're going to have a look because people keep asking. So, that bright light is from the motherboard there. We can sneak our way in here, and we can see our motherboard in here with our laptop RAM and our 6 port SATA adapter on the NVMe slot. I found an old SSD which I've stuck to the side with some tape, um, and that SSD will work as the boot drive. Um, it is intended to use an NVMe as the boot drive, but we are doing things differently. You still have two additional ports there, so we can get a total of probably seven NAS drives on here. We've got a few here. We've got two 14s and three 8 terabytes in here. I'm going to try and gradually phase out the 8 terabytes with um, probably 18 or 20 terabyte manufacturer recertified drives. We have my backup drive here. This is a Western Digital one. And there was no way to uh, remove that and make it a SATA drive because it is a custom external drive. The controller board on it only provides USB 3 interface. So we still have a USB 3 hub in here as a backup. We've got two of the USB 2 ports go straight to the front in here so we can access all of that. This button is going to connect to um, this connector at some point so we don't have a paper clip. Um, so we can just push the button and turn the auxiliary power supply on. It also runs from this little plug back here that's in this mess of cables. That's a 19 volt supply for the motherboard. So the motherboard supplies power to that primary SSD so that it can boot up and down independently of these drives. I can shut these drives down to make them safe. Now I'm going to find a way to get a USB relay card so that I can control the fans again and use a USB um, DHT22 temperature humidity sensor and have it turn the fans on and off according to temperature controls. There is also a Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna that I put back on in the back. Don't know what I'll use it for, but it exists. So this is pretty much where my file server is at. People have asked. I was going to make a whole project of this, but um, 
I ended up live streaming it in um, a different Discord server, and it's it's taken me about a week at this point. So uh, yeah, it's all up and running. I can back up my YouTube videos. These things will make it run much more smoothly. Tail scale is a lot easier to run on Ubuntu than it was on Librelec, partly because I can make it persistent now. Anyway, we'll see you all later, and um, yeah, we'll probably come back to this in detail if enough people are interested. But that's my file server. That's the updates on that. We'll get back to putting the 2070 in my desktop now.